under the guidance of their returning number 10, Carlo Canna. And he's got to start from his own half of the field, of course. Good work from Joe Roberts. It's been an impressive opening 13 minutes from him, and they're using this left-hand side well. Conbeer ever so threatening and dangerous. Outstretched arm of Jaco Piper. He's playing advantage to the Scarlets here. A fairly straightforward first shot at the post for Reese Patchell. Manny Judy dispatches it with a minimum of fuss. Big hits keep coming in from the Scarlets, and Zebra lose the ball again. He said that way too many times inside the opening quarter of the game. It was a knock-on advantage, that is now over. Oh, that's a lovely little show and go, and a step on the outside for Corey Baldwin, who runs in behind the sticks. That's a lovely try. It all came from the turnover as Zebra again for the fifth or sixth time in the game. Had an injury in pre-season that's kept him out so much of the season, and it's lovely from Gareth Davies. You know, we've talked about the ability to keep the ball alive a little out the door, out the back door, Corey Baldwin because he has the support coming through in the inside, me, is able to do the show and go. And Of the advantage that he has from Jaco Piper. Bejo goes to ground. Opportunity potentially for Bezigny, and it's all yep. a lot of traffic in that tight midfield corridor. But they'll take the penalty, get them on the board. Richie duly obliges. Three points from the kicking tee for Carlo Canna, and the arrears reduced to seven. Ten points to three, the Scarlets lead. Outside of Hooker, they've got so many key individuals there who are experienced players internationally, so you would expect them to be able to control it. And Zebra, every time they try to be adventurous at line out time, it goes awry. It's handing the opportunity to Ryan Conbeer on this side. Now, can he get it down? He can't, and that's a second try. Both. The Scarlet's wingers have now scored. Jaco Piper just checking with his assistant referee on this near side. And he's so fast and elusive. Yeah, it is high. It is around the neck. It's the seatbelt tackle as it's... Jack Price is last to take his position. And it's he who passes inside to Reese Patchell. There looks like there's a certain try here. And it's pretty easy in the end for the Starlets to get in for their third score of the afternoon in Parma. Johnny McNichol gets his name on the score sheet. Good hands from Rob Evans. Try scorer down in South Africa. Now Johnny McNichol who got the most recent of the Scarlets tries at the back end of the first half. Opportunity here, that's a lovely offload. And now they've got plenty of power from... Callum Mofani, and in the end, it's a simple dot down for the bonus point try scored by the big Tongan second row, Sam Lucy. It's just impossible to actually defend with the ball staying alive, and it's a great pick up there from Sam Luisi, and then he's on the hand for the for the offload from Callum Mofani. There it is eventually for Fusco and CZ again. He's carried gainly all afternoon with little end product thus far, but that's a nice little step off both feet from Carlo Cano. Oh, that's really well done. Yeah, it's beautiful. We've seen the Scarlets, uh, you know, on the short side. You can see Zebra have tried to, to expose the Scarlets a couple of times. Cana lovely to the line, show and go. He's people on the inside and the outside and does really, really well to fend off and keep his feet. And it's a great try and it's what Zebra deserved, to be fair. Gain momentum like this in matches where they seem to be dead and buried a long way behind. They're very much a, a confidence team and they've had so little confidence that if they get their points to the ball and they get an opportunity or two, they can take them. And that's a lovely score from Beyond Delhi. And all of a sudden, they thought Evans might just reach there. He's only a metre and a half shy, but Gareth Davies will reload the gun again. And again, look at that, they're only inches short this time. Lozana wants it, and he dives in low at the feet of his opposite number. Bianchi can't stop Lozana, the open side. Restart set play that they got then. Johnny Williams was just really direct. Scarlet's get around the corner, it was direct again. And We've got to remember they've played two less games than some of the other teams in the tournament from postponements, so five points today will certainly get them going in the right direction. And they are going in the right direction here, and it all breaks up and goes loose and that's a, a simple score in the end for Tua Palotu in off the bench will it prove to be wise then to keep ball in hand, difficult one for Palazzani to take a 
crowd trying to lift their side through and find a way through this Scarlet's rear guard. Now they do have an overlap. It's a certain try, a simple try for Donofrio. And probably a bit of anxiety even in the first half where you're used to losing. You try to force it a little bit. You're trying to score off second phase, third phase, and they keep ball there. Eventually the Scarlet's run out of numbers, and it's a really good fit. Yeah, and he has won it back on the Scarlet side. Job done, and this will just go into touch from Ryan Conbeer, who scored the second of what turned out to be the Scarlet's half a dozen tries over the course of the afternoon. And they've come to what was a potentially difficult afternoon, bereft of uh, so many of their international stars and injured players. And they, in the end, have made pretty light work of it. Good game, though, and Parma finishes up with a final scoreline of Zebra 24, the Scarlet's 41.